my dear lovely students i'm sure all of you are well versed about this new nta update so they have you know answered all the frequently asked question and although they are not talking about any re need they are they are just saying the same thing as they were saying right so we we'll see there is some justification although they have not revealed the name of those 1500 or 1600 students whom they are going to reevaluate re re right or whom they have given the grace marks how much grace marks they have given nothing is being uh, uh, you know revealed so let's see what is neat so they uh, they have given the introduction what is the mandate of the nta for the conduct of the need so that they can take admission in the mbbs bds or apart from that they are having certain other courses also right when was the need 2024 conducted and the result of the same was declared so they are like okay it was conducted uh, you know on 5th may then languages they are like all these languages is what they are how many cities so they are like okay five seven one cities in india and 14 cities outside the india they have given the centers name outside india which are the other organization utilize this course so we know bsc nursing and plus veterinary uh, you know colleges are also uh, taking the admission on the basis of their need score what is the role of the nta in the neat exam so we know that they are just generating the scorecard they are taking this exam and on the basis of the scorecard students will get the uh, seat in the various medical colleges what are the highlights of the need 2024 so they are like okay this much students have appeared for the exams and they have given some data okay now they are justifying that why the need score has gone up because you know increase in the registration this time you know 16.85 percent you know increase in the total registration and they have given this whole data that you know how much increase in the male uh, percentage female percentage who are appearing for this need exam how many qualified this exam 13.16 lakh were qualified uh, and then who were the examination functionaries so they have mentioned that 2.13 lakh examination functionaries were involved in it and that's why it was you know so that they can actually uh, deploy for the smooth conduct of the need so that they can conduct this need exam very very smoothly so that means nothing has happened everything was so smooth facilitate the smooth conduct of examination on the ground which are the top three states union to the highest number of candidates okay Uttar Pradesh Maharashtra and Rajasthan having the maximum can number of candidates registered for the need exam has the syllabus uh, of the need uh, 2024 been revised yes that's true right they have revised the need syllabus they have removed all the you know short chapters all the simple chapters and uh, they have revised they have reduced the syllabus and they are just justifying that because of this you know students have got uh, huge marks you know the cutoff is uh, really high this time and that is justified okay this answer is justified that you know they have removed the chapter and because of that you know also competition increased right okay we are uh, getting this point and then they are like did the candidate get an opportunity to challenge the provisional anxiety yes so you know that you have got this uh, opportunity from 29 May to 1st May to uh, 1st May uh, to challenge this, you know, provisional answer key. And did the candidate get any opportunity to view their OMR answer sheet? And they are like, oh, we were so transparent. We have shared this OMR sheet with the students in their, you know, um, email ID and also they have written it, right? So additional measure a scanned copy of OMR being submitted by the candidates at the respective center was sent to their registered email address. So they were so, so transparent, right? And next, what was the role of the grievance redressal committee in giving the compensatory marks for the time loss and why it was done again they have not they are saying giving the same justification right few read petition were filed by the candidates before the honorable you know uh, high court of the high courts for the loss of the time in the need 2024 at few centers accordingly grievance res redressal committee was formed which considered the grievance representation based on the factual uh, based on the cctv footage okay they were like we have put this CCTV footage in every exam so that we can actually see everything, right? That how students doing from concert exam center to compensate the loss of time. But again, they have not given us the list of the students whom they have given the, and how much marks they have given, the grace marks they have given to these students. Nothing is clear, right? Then how were the compensatory marks calculated? So if they are just, you know, using this grace marks for the first time, they have revealed the name of the students with their, uh, you know, initial marks and after the grace marks. So that we will be satisfied, oh yes, uh, you know this is how they are re-evaluating re you know so uh, uh, ultimately you know um, the the question is that uh, the de deserving candidates should get the uh, you know medical uh, seats they should uh, get the colleges because they are really doing so hard work so how were the compensatory marks calculated loss of the examination time was ascertained and such can can candidates again were compensated with the marks based on their answering efficiency okay they have uh, on what basis they are just you know calculating this efficiency perhaps how many questions they have answered in the remaining time and uh, you know the time lost as per the mechanism formula i don't know like again the formula they have mentioned the same thing which they were like speaking uh, before right 
and time lost. So how can any candidate score 718, 719 marks in the NEET UG 2024 due to compensatory marks? Two candidates happen to secure this much marks. And again, like how much marks they have received, uh, we, have not get, we have not got this data, right? Next, were there any candidate beside the 1563 who received the compensatory? There's like no. Compensatory marks were awarded exclusively to these 1560. Earlier it was 67, I guess, no? Now they're like 1563. I don't know. Candidates to make up their uh, make up for their loss of time. Okay, and some students have got the extra marks uh, for the extra good handwriting. No, they have get extra marks because uh, you know they were they, there was a question in physics, right? They have get they have got this grace marks for that question also. Did the 44 perfect scorer who benefit from the uh, 44? No, as previously stated, compensatory marks were solely given to the address. Again, 44. So I guess data was 67. And according to them, 44 students were getting the 670 out of 7, oh, 720 out of 720. But rest, other students have got the compensatory marks because they have lost the time. Okay. Why the answer key was changed from one correct option to the multiple correct option for a physics question? I'm sure you are well aware about the, you know, question atom of the most elements are stable and emit their characteristic spectrum. Statement one correct, statement two is incorrect. Initially, uh, the initial correct answer and then many students have challenged this question. So they have updated the, they have given the, you know, um, they have given the other answer also, right? They have given the multiple answer correct. So. Uh, this was done as the policy mentioned in the information bulletin. So if more than one option is found to be correct, the four marks will be awarded to only to those who have marked any of these correct options, right? So yeah, it was the controversy in the physics and they like, we have just, you know, given them extra marks for this. Are CCTV cameras installed in every examination room and what is their purpose? Yes, they're like, okay, yes, because we have, you know, installed CCTV camera in all the centers and because of that, we were able to, you know, uh, see that how much marks they should get, you know, they have lost the time how much marks they should get how much grace marks they should get and they have put some formula i don't know what that normalizing formula throughout the test as well as the post examination video evaluation to lick the malpractices and cheating so they're like no no cheating has been done okay they're not like they're not saying that no paper leak they're like no cheating has happened okay what measure were taken by the nta to prevent malpractices during the exam prevent cheating cctv cameras were installed okay they have they are like more emphasizing on this biometric verification was done conducted through frisking at entry points and use the latest jammers to block electronic communication device how come then how come these kids, you know, from one center, from the Rajasthan center, were able to, you know, take the picture of the question paper and uh, were managed to leak this paper in the social media? I don't know. Like, what uh, what action NT is taking on unfair mean cases? Okay. So, they are like, we have a committee was constituted consisting of three eminent experts in the field of examination. I can admit to put forward the different type of issues reported, such as impersonating, cheating, unfair means cases, and tampered OMR. The committee went through the relevant issues and prepared a list of action proposed by the committee. The total number of unfair mean cases reported was 63 in 2024. On the recommendation of the committee, total 12 candidates were debarred from the OK. They have taken this action. Nine candidates for two years and one candidate for one year. 32 candidates were given the status of result later till a detailed report was received. The committee has given its recommendation against each cases. Action taken in UFM cases in uh, accordance with the existing, including the cancellation of candidature and debarment from the future examination for the NTA. Okay, so they have debar debarred these some students, you know, from the exam, from the NTA exam. Okay, what are the criteria for the interse merit of the candidates for the tie breaking? Okay, so you kids know, I have told you this earlier also that how they are evaluating the marks, right? So okay these these points are justified but last point again many many parents and many candidates have raised this issues application number in ascending order okay so if these students having the same marks so how exactly they will be giving the they are giving the priorities right to the students so they are like okay we will consider the application number in ascending order so that means if you have filled the form earlier so on the you know if you have filled the form earlier and you have the you know application number you have uh, you know application number uh, lower than you know in the ascending order than the other so obviously you'll be getting the priority so in that cases they in, in that on that basis, basis they will be you know giving you marks and i have told you that you know i have told you this criteria in the previous video so you can see that on what basis they are giving the, they are reevaluating the marks of the students who are getting the you know the rank of the students who are getting the same marks right so this last point has uh, you know has basically uh, uh, create chaos among the students and the parents so i'm sure you kids know about this last point why has there been variation in the cutoffs in the neat exam over the year okay so they are like uh, 2020 
okay so they are like why why the, a lot of differences so now you can see the average marks is 323 okay so cutoff score are determined based on the overall performance of the candidate each year again they are saying the saying the same thing that you know competitive nature of examination increase and the higher performance standard achieved by the candidate this year and that's why they have actually achieved the more average marks this year right so they are justifying this again the same way uh so reduce syllabus moderate difficulty level and this was the reason that student have increased increased the number of uh, aspirants and the fact and neat allows multiple attempt could be some of the reason for the higher scores okay so this year they are just giving this justification because of all these reason uh cut off is really high super high actually right why did the greater number of candidates get full marks in the neat 2024 so they are like they are just uh, you know saying that uh, what happened NTA received this much challenge for the question, so they have got you know they have uh, they uh, held that two options be taken as correct and in place of one option for this question. So 67 students who get who got 27.20 out of 720 marks uh, and uh, 44 are on the account of the revision in one answer key. Okay, so 44 people have got the full marks because they have got extra marks for the physics question and six are on the account of the compensatory marks of uh, loss of time and that's why they have got 720 out of 720, right? and then the revision uh, led to increase marks uh, of for many candidate contributing to high number of perfect scores this led to the getting full marks 44 candidates in this adju adjustment uh, aimed to address inconsistency in ncert book ensuring candidates were not disadvantaged by factual discrepancies okay it is so they are like they are again saying the same thing like why uh, what happened why like they are justifying this in this way right can you please uh, detail about the distribution of the top 100 candidates of the neat 2020 in terms of their exam center in the school boards okay yes so they are like top 100 candidates distributed across 89 different centers 55 cities and 17 states out of the top candidates 73 belong to the cbsc board 27 from the various state boards and this diverse distribution highlight the widespread okay so they are like uh, justifying this you know uh, that you know the students the top 100 students were from the different different centers so how does nta ensure the authenticity of the such scores such high score nta took several measures to maintain the integrity okay so they have installed the cctv biometric verification strict invigilation during the exam post exam nta conducted a thorough analysis including a review of cctv footage and academic background checks of the top scorers okay and is it true that there have has been a paper leak in bihar or uh, godra so what they are saying it is to be noted that none of the reports are backed with evidences that may indicate a paper leak and uh, they are like okay no paper leak okay so these cases seem to be unrelated to the cheating or impersonating and not to the paper leak okay so they like perhaps they have uh, cheated but there was no paper leak at all while the outcomes of the invigilation of foresight cases is awaited nt has categorically categ categorically denied any case of the paper leak okay so they are saying the same thing what happened in the center uh, this uh, you know uh, madhupur rajasthan so they are again saying the same thing as i have told you like there is no way any external personal or agency could access the centers once the examination started moreover all centers were under the cctv surveillance okay so they are like some hindi candidates have got the english paper and that's why this led to adjudication by some who led the examination center with the question paper despite efforts by the central staff to prevent them doing uh, the same right so like they are justifying this again this way have there been instance of the paper uh, solver gangs who have impersonated the examination in return for the some lakh of the rupees nt is actively engaged with all relevant stakeholders to gather detailed information evidences relate to the alleged mal practices and any individuals or entities found involved in such activities will be subjected to strict disciplinary action as per law okay so they are seeing it they are you know analyzing this thing why was the neat 2024 uh, result declared on 4th june how were the result declaration date mentioned in the information yes so that was the question as a policy of nta nta examination so again they are saying the same thing right so you know the as per procedure is not connected to the general election result the early announcement aims to expedite the counseling and admission process for the benefit of all the candidates okay it's important to note that nta consistently declare examination result within a month whether conducted in cbt mode or offline mode okay within a month but they have actually 
Okay, how does the NT address the issue of the candidates forging their NEET 2024 scorecards on a march sheet and claiming that NTA has released incorrect result? Okay, so the, that was the case of some Aishi Patel. So NTA has uh, become aware of the instance where candidates are forging the forging their NEET 2024 scorecard on a march answer sheet claiming that NTA has released incorrect result. The NTA want to clarify that any manipulation or tampering within the OMR sheet at any stage is strictly prohibited, right? As stated, NTA information bulletin tampering with the OMR sheet Will the will result in the candidate being debarred from the examination for three years? Additionally, make fake claims by manipulating the response of a MR sheet or tampering with it in any way whatsoever, either before or after declaration of result, is a serious offense. Okay, so they are like uh, you cannot do that, huh? So yeah, they have given this you know a website where you can check your result and. Uh, you will not see such discrepancies. So kids who are saying that they have got the less marks than the actual marks, so please check this. You go to the website, check again. What is the NTA response to the viral video alleging discrepancies? Again, you know, we have a lot of questions. So uh, regarding the viral video featuring a candidate of NEET UG 2024 claiming discrepancies in NEET 2024 scoring and receiving of the TON OMR answer sheet, NTA clarifies that no TON OMR sheet was sent via, via, a, via an email. NTID OMR answer sheet is intact and the scores are accurate as per the official records. Candidates should download scorecard only from the official website. Okay, so this is their official website. Is it true that another committee has been formed to look into the case of compensatory marks? So yes, it's true. A high-powered committee has been formed to revisit the cases of the candidates of only approximately 1563 were awarded compensatory marks to address the issue of the time loss. So you know that they have they are forming this committee for only the 16 for only for these 60, 1600 students how can i stay updated on official information so you can visit their website they have given it that's all so again they are like no reneat and whatever they have done it's uh, absolutely correct right there is no issue at all and whatever the whatever issue happened they will be seeing they will be analyzing it and soon they will come up with the result and let's see what happened right okay so that's all this is their update so you can say nothing new they are just justifying the same thing they are not revealing those 1600 students with their previous and the recent marks but uh, you know let's see what happened so still we have hope right so kids you keep studying again i'm telling you i would suggest you only one thing you keep studying right no matter what you keep studying if you are getting good score marks or good score or if you are getting you know good marks so you just go for the counseling because that is also going on right so all the best kids and stay connected i'll be coming up with new updates for all of you have a great day